Yeah, I reckon this feller got too big for his britches. Say howdy to Nick Cornies. I had every intention when I took that job of doing that job from start to finish. Nick is full of excuses. I just suffered COVID. Nick is full of remorse. I feel bad about those jobs. I really do. Do you? But some of his customers say Nick is just full of He had COVID like three times. He, his truck broke down. He got into a car accident. Everything he was telling me was a lie. Nick Cornies is a contractor so low, he took money from a cancer patient and bailed on the job. He knows you're sick, right? Oh, absolutely. You've heard of corn on the cob. This is Cornies on the cob. I've seen you do reports on these guys, and I'm like, I never wanted to be that guy. You were going to be that guy. Christy and her husband, Chuck, live out in the country. They have a nice life with a nice house and a pond, but they got bad news. Chuck was diagnosed with multiple myeloma last year. Chuck needed a sterile room to recuperate in after cancer treatments, so they got the idea to build a sunroom. Problem is, they hired a shady guy to build it, Nick Cornies. We were stupid and trustworthy, and we were going in the middle of Chuck's chemo, and we trusted him. I mean, he's a neighbor. Yep, Nick lives on the other side of the lake in Davisburg. The couple used him before as a handyman. We hired him, he fixed things on the house, he painted some of our rooms, and uh, we trust him. For the sunroom, they paid Nick $29,000, and this is all they got. He gave him the money, they, they dug the footings, he hired somebody to dig the footings, and then he disappeared. There's him busting my floor right there. When That's him with a sledgehammer? Yep. Matthew hired Nick Cornies to put in new floors. He lives in the country too, out in Oxford. We trusted him. That was the bad part. Country trust goes country boss. He broke the subfloor, he broke the joists in the basement swinging a sledgehammer. <laughs> trying to remove the kitchen tiles. All that pounding upstairs did a number a floor below. Look at the ceiling in Matthew's basement. Corny said he'd fix everything. Good luck with that. He strung me along for like four weeks and tell me I'm sick, I'm in the hospital, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna finish. He never came back. Matthew sued Nick Corny's for the more than five grand he'd paid him, but Corny's wasn't gonna pay Matthew back. Instead, Nick Lickety Split filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. That wiped out the judgment Matthew got and a bunch of other debts Corny's accumulated, like this Corny's construction customer who won a giant judgment. The complaint says, as a result of Corny's remodeling and Corny's conduct, we have incurred substantial damages in an amount of at least $129,018. That family told me they didn't want to talk on camera because they say Corny's creeped them out. And I can understand why. Corny's has a criminal record. He was in prison from 2013 to 2016. According to the Department of Corrections, Corny's has been convicted of assault with a dangerous weapon, resisting police, giving false information to police, taking money under false pretenses, forgery, and uttering and publishing. This guy's been convicted of more than 10 felonies. And Corny's home is not exactly howdy folks country inviting. He flies a black flag out front. He's got cameras and signs all over the place warning people, stay out. He uses social media to advertise his business, and he looks like a nice down-home country cat on Facebook, but a Pinterest page in his name shows a little darker side. Well, I'm Pinterested in talking to him, and here he comes out of the corny's crib. I need to talk to you about uh, some of these jobs you did for some people a while ago. What would that be? Uh, Christy and Chuck. Yeah. What happened with that? Uh, no comment. Christy and Chuck sued Nick right after his bankruptcy debt was dismissed. So their judgment against him still stands. He owes him 20 grand. I still lose sleep about it and I still think about it. All those nights tossing and turning and Nick's only been able to come up with a couple hundred bucks a month to pay his victims back. All of a sudden, Nick volunteers this. I've been sober now eight years. Not that I asked, but... Good for you. Then I asked about Matthew and the demolition nightmare Nick did to his house. He He's said, on my amends list. Corny says his crew wrecked the house, not him. They had taken a sledgehammer and smashed the entire floor. But Matt took a video, and he says that's Nick swinging the sledge. 
I asked Nick about the family who paid him more than 120 grand, and he ended up botching the job. What happened to $125,000? That all got spent on materials that materials and labor. I made no money on that job. Do you know what you're doing? You don't have a license or anything, right? I'm on my way to getting my license right now. Well, I hope you're getting a ride because I found out not only does Corny's not have a builder's license, he doesn't even have a valid driver's license. So you say you've been sober for eight years? Yes. Okay. So, so, I mean, I applaud you getting sober, but I mean, that means you did all these jobs when you were sober. So yeah, how would you ever, make such a mess out of yourself? Because I had every intention I, of getting it done. I don't even know what that means. Remember, he's the one who bailed out on the jobs regardless of his intention. I tell Nick he's going on TV and he's not happy. In fact, he's real sad. Who is ever going to want to hire me? Well, you know, maybe that's what the victims want. They don't want you to get hired. They don't think they're going to get their money and they want to warn other people not to use you. I don't know how I ended up having to console this guy. I might as well just go get a job at Home Depot. I show Christy and Chuck some of my conversation with Carnies. Just suffered COVID, lost everything. I'm Again? Remember, they say he used the I have COVID excuse on them a bunch of times. I've been sober now eight years. <laughs> and What? So that's baloney. He said he went radio silent because he was in rehab. Rehab for substance abuse just last June, not eight years ago. I showed Matthew video of Nick telling me his crew wrecked the floor, not him. He said, oh, uh, one of my guys swung the sledgehammer, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's on video, so it's him. Hey, Nick Cornies, there's hardly a kernel of truth to what you have to say. You're in the Hall of Shame. Nick Cornish contacted the victims in this story after we met. He paid Matthew $500 and he paid Christy and Chuck $800. He also contacted the family that sued him and won $129,000 in that judgment that got wiped out in Nick's bankruptcy. That family told me they want nothing to do with that guy. Hugh LaMonica? Well, Rob, that's part of the problem. This guy cheated people out of what they paid for. Is a guy like this going to end up with a contractor's license down the road? Well, I would think that the state wouldn't give him a contractor's license. You have to show a certain amount of financial security. And he does have, I believe it's 11 felonies. So, I mean, he's got a pretty bad record. Says he's going to get his license. He's been doing these unlicensed jobs and he took a whole bunch of money. Some of the, uh, the debt got wiped out in the bankruptcy, which is kind of a dirty trick according to the customers. But he does owe that one family, the, the family with the gentleman who has cancer, uh, $20,000 in a judgment, and he's trying to pay him back, and hopefully he will. So, whatever.